Yes, we'll okay. appreciate the introduction. Welcome, everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, this is a short introduction today about our Obesity Academy course that we are starting for a general practitioner and primary care physician. Uh, the course is basically organized by Oman Diabetes Association. And uh, uh, members from the National Diabetes and Endocrine Center, and it's sponsored by Novo Nordisk. And Dr. Noor, who is the Director uh, General of the National Diabetes and Endocrine Center, will give you a small um, opening talk now, and then I will start giving uh, a small uh, presentation, which is an introduction about the course and with some details, and then we'll open uh, the floor for questions uh, if you have regarding the presentation itself. If you have any issues with the voice, for example, interrupting uh, or anything, let me know because sometimes I need to stop the video so uh, you can, uh, because of the connection. So uh, we'll start with Dr. Noor. Go ahead, Dr. Noor. Sure. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, welcome to the Obesity Academy uh, program, uh, which is an educational program about obesity uh, sponsored by Novo and uh, uh, in this uh, course, uh, you guys will learn about obesity. As everybody knows, 40% of the population of Oman suffer from obesity. If we combine overweight and obesity, it's around 69%. And uh, this disease has to be uh, uh, screened and managed uh, at all levels, from primary uh, health to uh, secondary and tertiary. So I hope in this program, you will learn uh, A to Z about obesity management, screening, and uh, referral. Uh, and I would here like to thank Novo for their sponsorship uh, and Dr. Amira for all her effort to put all this together. Uh, there will be a lot of uh, few modules from the school, uh, scope uh, uh, program of World Obesity Federation, so you all will be certified if you join us at the National Diabetes and Endocrine Center for the clinical attachment. So it is face-to-face, uh, -face, uh, hopefully some of the lecture, and in this uh, uh, era we're doing it uh, virtual, but maybe in the future there will be face-to-face -face as well clinical uh, and uh, with clinical attachment. So we hope you enjoy uh, the lectures uh, starting from the program starting from tomorrow and to see you at the National Diabetes and Endocrine Center for the clinical attachment and to see some of your referral from all of our men for further management of obesity patients. Uh, so uh, I will leave the floor now to Dr. Amira to give the introduction lecture and to give more details about the program. The floor is yours, Dr. Amira. Thank you. Dr. Amira, are you with us? I am. I think I was. Okay. Okay, please go ahead. Okay. So um, my name is Dr. Amira al khalusi and I'm um, uh, interim medicine and uh, medical biochemistry, as well as a fellowship in bariatric medicine from University of Ottawa. I am uh, board certified in American uh, Board of Obesity Medicine. I joined uh, the center in August 2020, a year ago. Uh, today, we are starting uh, this new program with the uh, uh, Oman Diabetes Association, organized by Oman Diabetes Association and Novo Nordisk. I would like to basically give you a small introduction about the course and what we are going to uh, basically um, uh, going to establish in, the, in this course and what is our aim basically from Obesity Academy. So Obesity Academy is... Uh, sorry, just to... So first I will start with what is Obesity Academy and who are our target trainees and uh, how it will be conducted in more details. And then I will start with the basically uh, how, did, how it would start and for how long and how you to be a scope certified. Uh, and I will talk about scope certification introduction wise as well. 
So in regards to uh, what is the Obesity Academy, this is uh, uh, basically a medical program uh, that was started in, uh, uh, in in the Middle East in general, and also like started, uh, I was in one of the Obesity Academy courses in Bahrain uh, last week, and we are started uh, in Oman this week. And uh, hopefully it is something that will reoccur in animal based dimensional uh, training program focusing on obesity management, especially for in a primary care setting. The aim is basically to train uh, general practitioners as well as family physicians uh, working in a regional hospitals and in health centers in advanced obesity management. And uh, by the end of the training, we are hoping that which is basically a strategic center of obesity profession, often for professional No, no, I was muted for some reason. Okay, I think I'm back. So uh, by the end of the training of the course, you will be SCOPE certified, which is a strategic center for obesity, prof for obesity professional education certified in obesity management. So this is one of the internationally recognized uh, certification in obesity management. So um, how we will do uh, basically the, uh, the program. First, we started recruiting uh, candidates, which is uh, the total number we have now is 42 uh, by National Diabetes and Endocrine Center. We aim to recruit those who have, have been at the center and also been trained before in diabetes uh, fellowship, as well as other attachments uh, at the center. It is a three dimension program, uh, which is an online scope module that you need to do online uh, on your own. And there is also the virtual lectures and workshop, which is what we are conducting next week. Uh, and also hands-on experience, which is basically a total of 10 uh, clinic days and uh, also uh, like in the five different clinics that we have at the center. So this is uh, the general scope of the Obesity Academy that we are conducting in Oman. After the selection of candidates, which is basically a uh, total of 42 so far, we have the lecture. We'll start with the dimension one, which is the lectures and the workshop. And I will show you the schedule that we are going to uh, conduct the, uh, the four days of workshops. And it will start from like patient screening until the management. We try to focus mostly in this dimension is in basically topics that are not that are not um, discussed in details uh, at the module itself, uh, but with the, some highlights uh, from uh, the modules. And the second dimension would be the online courses, and I will take you through how to uh, go through the online courses that you um, will be registered uh, in a scope uh, e-learning um, uh, platform. So all doctors will be registered uh, by us. And then basically you will start earning points, which is for scope. And this is in the second dimension. The third dimension, which is your clinical uh, experience. Um, your clinical experience, basically, basically we're trying to build on what you have learned so far uh, in the past when you were with us uh, before at the center. So um, we have five obesity clinics. Uh, you will see real patients. Uh, we are aiming for you to see like a, uh, new cases as well as follow-ups uh, from starting with the screening until the treatment protocol and so on. By the end, uh, we are planning to have like a graduation uh, who are uh, school certified uh, for the 42 uh, candidates um, uh, joining us. So um, we already went through the candidate selection and congratulations for, for all of you uh, uh, for joining us uh, in this workshop or in this uh, academy. So we already confirmed your in, uh, enrollment in the program. Uh, the start of the program is basically by dimension one, which are the workshop and the lectures. Um, the attendance is mandatory for everyone. Uh, in, the, um, in the workshop, we will be tracking attendance uh, through uh, Zoom. Uh, we have external and local speakers speaking about uh, very important topics in obesity, um, and it starts from tomorrow until the 29th. Now, every day we will have it only for two hours uh, for the last four days, except the first day, which is tomorrow, uh, we will have it in three hours, like uh, at 4 p.m., 5 p.m., and then 7 p.m. And there is a one hour break between 5 and 7 p.m. So this is the for the workshop. So starting tomorrow, we'll start with the evaluation of obesity. Following that, we will have uh, the updates from Canadian guidelines uh, by Dr. Judy Shaw. 
and then a dietary intervention uh, by Daniel Aldous with one of the dietitians, um, uh, international dietitian. And then we have uh, uh, the, the, like psychotherapy in obesity management uh, the second day uh, with uh, Dr. Daniel Libagli, then Dr. Abta Tahrani will talk about the pharmacological intervention in obesity management. Then we'll talk about surgical intervention the day after with pre and post bariatric evaluation. Uh, we will touch on childhood obesity and with screening and management. Uh, finally, one of our attendees here today and also one of our participants, uh, Dr. Amir Gushi, will talk about establishing uh, obesity clinic in a primary care setting. So um, what I want to say uh, like about the workshop, you will be allowed to have, it's a 45 minutes, but it's depend on the speaker if they want to uh, make it shorter and have more time for discussion. However, uh, the 15 minutes of discussion, I would like you to ask, uh, the priority for questions will be yours because we are sharing also this workshop with uh, general uh, professionals. Uh, we open the uh, registration for everyone. So, and we have more than 160 now. Uh, so what we are trying to uh, control the discussion, uh, you will send me your questions uh, in the WhatsApp group that we have created. Um, so that would, the priority of questioning will be for you. So um, I will read out your questions to the speakers uh, from uh, what you send me in the WhatsApp group, and then we'll open the floor for the uh, general audience. So uh, after the workshop, uh, of course, uh, we will, um, uh, I will introduce the speakers by the time. So I'm going to skip through these four uh, slides, I think. Uh, because these speakers will be introduced at the time of the um, presentations. So the second scope, which is the scope online module. So the online modules, we are registering all of you in our uh, module and uh, which is uh, through scope. We will do, uh, you will do the core learning pathway, which will be paid for by, um, by the organizers. And it is uh, to complete the core learning pathway. Uh, the, then following that, there is a supplementary modules in the scope as well, which is a free access. And we recommend you do all of them because you will need these points for uh, scope certification. So the core learning pathway is actually one of the uh, mandatory courses that you need for scope certification, plus the supplementary because you will need a 12 points. And I will come to that uh, in, the next, um, uh, in, in the next slide. So the topics in the core learning pathway is basically about uh, obesity and regulation of body weight. So it will include everything, starting from the pathophysiology to etiologies and then complications of obesity and how to start the patient dialogue and then the management as well. Uh, it will cover also on the obesity and pharmacotherapy uh, and also child, uh, like uh, management of obesity uh, in children and adolescents, also childhood obesity. I would recommend that you uh, also read around these topics before you have access, because we are covering these topics in the workshop. And if you have any questions, it will be uh, very good to ask, very good time to ask uh, those experts. So uh, you will receive your credentials by us um, uh, once we do the bulk registration for everyone. Uh, so before starting your clinical hands-on experience, I would recommend that you finish the core learning pathway because it's a big basics. Um, and some of you, I think, did a Harvard course as well. So it is, uh, sub like, it is similar to that. So you will do uh, the core learning pathway uh, before starting your posting, and then you will show us basically your completion certificate before you come to the clinic. So we make sure that you finish the, the core learning pathway. So I'll take you the whip uh page that talks about the module I don't know if it's showing because it's I have to share I think another slide. Okay, so this is basically, um, this is the scope e-learning uh, web page. But the good thing about this is actually they have also an application on the phone where it is called Saba Cloud. You can download it and you can view all these uh, workshops online. So all you have to do is after you have your credential, you can just uh, log in to the website.
And as you can see here, for example, I opened some of the modules to see a long time ago, uh, but uh, like one of the topics are free, uh, like uh, it will track your, uh, it will track your activities and uh, you can basically go back to them anytime you want. And you can add a course that you are interested in, uh, like to your list if you are doing supplementary. But once you, uh, once we buy you the core learning pathway, you go to courses and directly to the uh, core learning um, modules, and then you start uh, viewing those sessions, because th those session will be basically the mandatory uh, for you, which is this one. Uh, once you get access to these modules, you have to finish them, and then it will count your points, which will go directly to your login account. So that's why it's very important to have your email addresses correct, uh, the one that you sent us to the list. If you feel that your uh, email is actually not active for a long time ago, tell us now so we can change it because this is very important. So going back to, uh, and as I mentioned, like you have unlimited access to these uh, modules, like you, uh, you can view them anytime you want, even through your phone, you can uh, view these materials when you have a free time. So I think this is very convenient actually. So what is a SCOPE certification? It's, a, as I mentioned, internationally recognized standard of obesity management expertise. It promotes uh, and uh, the, like the excellence of knowledge in obesity prevention and management. And this is one of the things that we um, promote, like we, uh, we wish that we have to see more uh, SCOPE certified, um, uh, more SCOPE certified uh, physicians in Oman across Oman because uh, we want more focal points, it send patients to more focal points where the physicians are actually scope certified. So uh, let's see, okay. So here, what you need to do uh, in order to get scope certification. So it's actually open to all, all healthcare professionals and not necessarily physicians, I would say, but uh, everyone who complete these three uh, following uh, requirements. First, the core learning path, which has a four scope points, and then you need an evidence of six months practical experience to relate it to obesity management. And then you need also 12 points required for the certification from SCOPE itself. And the, the, the best way to get it is actually to do more supplementary modules, uh, which will be the easiest way um, to get the total eight points remaining to get the total 12 points. So uh, you can go through the handouts for the certification on their website, as well as I will talk about the Google Drive that you have received some sharing information uh, a while ago. Um, but I, I put also some of the documents and information there for you to go through. So uh, it is your responsibility to, to fulfill these criteria and to get the certification. Like to get the certification is very easy. Like it cannot be more simpler, simpler than this. So th this is the application process. So let's say I finished all my points and I got the 12 points that I need for it to, to be scope certified. So all I need to do is actually go to application on the website itself, how to apply for scope certification. So you put your name, your title, your country, your date of birth, your email. And then basically I did 12 points. Let's say I did the core as well, as it says here, did you do the core? And then they will need basically supplementary documents upload your supporting evidence. So supporting evidence, what they want is your six months experience. And this is how to get it because they will need an official company letterhead, which is your employer. So they can write down basically a letter for you that you have been practicing obesity medicine for the last six months. Some of you already did six months in obesity medicine, already running a clinic. So it's easier for them to get the certification after they complete their points. So, um, and then you upload these documents here, and then you can add some referees, uh, like someone from your uh, working place or someone from, if you have been with us at the National Endocrine Center also, we can talk more about this uh, like certification and you can add some of, some of the referees here and that's it. You submit your application and then you, you are SCOPE certified. So it's very easy to be SCOPE certified from that aspect is um, your, the requirements are minimal basically. So uh, steps for you, like I, I know I talked about a lot of dimensions, but steps for you is basically attend the virtual workshop, which is from the starting today till 29th, go to the core learning pathway and go through the e-learning modules before coming to the clinic at the center. And then basically 
um, we start the, our, the uh, third dimension, which is basically the hand-on experience, which is obesity clinic at the National Diabetes Endocrine Center. And this is what I'm going to talk uh, more in more details about. So the hand between either spending two weeks continuous, uh, which is the preferred for those who are outside, we'll talk about like a recommendation, like accommodation arrangement, sorry, um, at, that, uh, at that time. And then basically the attendance or the attendance of the 10 clinic days throughout the year. So you choose 10 days throughout the year where you see your patients that you source for follow up. And this is better for continuity and also for patients who, sorry, for physicians who are working in Masqat district. So this will be easier for them. Uh, what type of clinics we have the National Diabetes Endocrine Center, we have obesity clinic, obesity with diabetes clinic, we have multidisciplinary clinic combined with a bariatric surgeon, we have post bariatric clinic, as well as pediatric obesity clinic, and they are running throughout the week. So uh, spending uh, like two, um, two weeks with us will basically you will see a variety of clinics as well and patients. Um, so each candidate, uh, one of you basically will present one journal club on the day the of one of their day, the days that they are posted with us. So you choose a day where you prefer to present a journal club uh, in our CMEs as well in the morning usually. Uh, this is the schedule of the clinics. Uh, you can go back to this slide because I will upload this presentation in our Google Drive um, and you can go through it basically uh, to see what clinic is running and which day. Um, usually we have like uh, these clinics can be alternating a week uh, from week to, uh, to another. Uh, so two weeks together, will, you will see like two types of uh, clinics as well. So um, I've already talked about this. I talked about how you are going to need uh, to set up your own clinic uh, at your regional, whether health center or polyclinic or hospital, um, when you go back to. And uh, we will try to help you as much as we can. We know that there are some limitations on setting up your uh, clinic because of resources and so on. Uh, but we'll try to help you as much as you can, as we can uh, in setting up these clinics. Um, it is the responsibility of the trainees to have the uh, provide evidence of the six months experience to scope organization. Uh, the training of allied health, like if you have dietitians or nurses at your regional hospital or center and you want them to be uh, like uh, trained in certain, uh, like some of the aspects we can uh, arrange for that, like uh, for them either by attending these workshops or also by um, like uh, attachment in our center in the future. The references and materials. So I did um, uh, like a folder in a Google Drive where we have everything that we, we you need throughout this course. And um, I'm planning uh, to actually keep it for as uh, long period as we can and then update it with any references or materials that we have. So you can have access to them anytime you want. So it will include four uh, folders, uh, the course introduction and the schedule. Uh, lectures and uh, the, like uh, the workshop that we are conducting online uh, starting tomorrow. If there's any handouts or, or materials from the speakers, I will upload them as well. Uh, the guidelines and the references, also the journal club articles to choose from uh, when you are trying to, when, when you present. So going to the Google Drive. So this is the Google Drive. Some of you, I've added everyone based on the list that you submitted with your emails. Uh, however, those who did not, uh, who are not able to access the show, the 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 folder itself, uh, then uh, either there is something wrong with the email that you submitted initially. Uh, try to send them back to me if you are unable to access. Um, some of the Hotmail and Yahoo maybe are not supported. Uh, if you have a Gmail, it will be much easier, but if you don't, that's okay. Usually, uh, like those who don't have a Gmail can access these folders. So um, the folder will include the virtual work workshop. Uh, this is the basically based on the speakers. If they have any materials, then I would basically add them inside uh, their folder for you to go back, whether it's articles or handouts or uh, guidelines, whatever it is, I will add them or their presentations. And then uh, maybe eventually we can have the recorded uh, talks also inside one of these uh, like folders. And then you have the journal club uh, articles. So I added a 40, I think 40 plus articles. 
Some of them like uh, landmark trials in obesity management, some of them are new um, uh, articles and uh, like uh, good, for good for discussion. So any one of you who will present an article will be basically adding his name, uh, the title that he presented and the presenter and the date it was presented. So nobody picked the same article twice. Um, and we can find a way to modify this if it is like, uh, uh, if, it is, if it gets complicated. And then here added international guidelines uh, so far from like all organizations uh, that we have basically the Canadian guidelines, ACMB, American guidelines. We have the some of the UK guidelines. Um, um, in the Canadian guidelines, I added all the 19 chapters. They are very comprehensive and I would recommend everyone to actually um, to read them. So, and there is a the summary of the same guideline. So uh, before maybe the talk uh, tomorrow, if you have a chance to go through the, uh, uh, the summary of the Canadian guidelines, that would be good. And you will have them in the shared uh, file. And then uh, basically it's from today, I have your list, uh, the schedule for the speakers. I will upload this presentation as well. And uh, the Anything really scope certification in terms of the uh, the the guide of how to uh, be scope certified would be here, and the letter also from that we received from um, uh, the letter that we received from uh, the sorry uh, from scope certification personnel regarding how to get the letterhead from your employer and uh, stuff related to the uh, the supplementary module. So uh, the future of this, uh, we are aiming that to train as much as we uh, can family physician to be confident in management of obesity, uh, to be a regional focal point uh, for referral and discharge also from the uh, uh, diabetes center uh, for continuity of standard care. Basically, that's what we are aiming uh, to establish. And basically, uh, I've, I've said this already, we understand there are some limitations uh, to resources in terms of the management of obesity. However, this might, this might change in the future. Uh, but for now, like uh, we will continue with the, uh, like, uh, with the uh, improving the knowledge and the continuity of uh, medical education will be our aim. And hopefully we can conduct this in an annual basis um, and share more information in the future as well. So um, we'll come to the program again, and I will open the floor to the questions. And I don't know why we have 74 participants, uh, but let me see. If you have any questions, you can ask them here in the Q&A box. Uh, someone asked if the candidates are for doctors only. The answer is yes. Um, I think we have uh, somebody who is not actually um, from the 42 candidates. Any questions from our From our 42 candidates, you can type them on or maybe we can open or raise your hand. So the, there is a question regarding the core learning pathway. Uh, when can I start? You can start it like whenever you want, once you get the credentials that we will give it to you. So once we uh, do the registration, which are, we, we are in the process of doing the registration for, for all of you. So once you um, get uh, the access, the online access, your yeah, like your username and password, you can start doing the core learning pathway whenever you want. However, we encourage you before you start your posting, you finish all the uh, the modules uh, on the um, on the uh, on the e-learning in terms of the core learning pathway.
So Joha is a dietitian and she already did very good. She already did the scope e-learning last year. Uh, as I said, so this is all for all allied health, allied health and also all, for all healthcare professionals so they can do it as well. And I encourage everyone to do it actually if they have access to it. How many modules? Um, so the core learning modules is basically you have to count the points. So you need 12 points. The core will only will give you four points and then the rest, the eight points you should uh, pick uh, from the supplementary modules until you get the, um, uh, until you get the, fine, uh, the final uh, number. How the posting will be scheduled. This is, we'll do, we'll do the process in terms of uh, after, after we finalize your names. So, and then we will ask you a preference in terms of how you want the posting to be. And then we will finalize the schedule and send it to you. Uh, clinical uh, regarding six months clinical practice. Does it mean that we should initiate our own obesity clinic or we should attach? So this is your own obesity clinic. Um, uh, so you, when you basically go back or if you are now like uh, seeing patients with obesity, then that's, uh, that's qualifies you as uh, running a clinic and you are managing obesity at the same time. So, uh, you can get, uh, like, uh, experience from running obesity clinic whether it is in your in your own clinic if you want to separate it or you or you have for example diabetes clinic and many of your patients are with obesity for example then you should uh, you should document that you are actually seeing patients with obesity and you're managing uh, obesity at the same time Okay, what is the period to complete scope modules? Uh, it's up to you uh, uh, for the, like if you, I think they take about an hour, like for one session. So if you uh, do them frequently, you will finish fast, uh, you will finish your modules, but uh, it depends on you. Like if you do, uh, because you, you will do it in your free time. So um, you can finish it as soon as possible as well. Can you please uh, touch again on the clinical training? When will we will start? We will finalize the schedule and then we will let you know when to start your uh, like uh, posting in the uh, National Diabetes Endocrine Center. So uh, regarding the medication, uh, um, someone is asking if uh, a clinic started, medication will be provided to the polyclinic. What is the process for of training dietitian? So um, we cannot, of course, uh, promise that medications will be available to the uh, to the polyclinics. Uh, we will have like a referral uh, for these medications once they are eligible. You will know about like uh, when to refer these patients for medications if possible. Now we are having some issues regarding patients. Uh, they could prescribe medication at the center and then going back to uh, their clinics. Hopefully in, in the future, this will be um, solved. But for now, we cannot promise medication that uh, will be started in the polyclinic. What is the process for training dietitian? So uh, we don't have anything in place right now, but if we see like a good number of uh, dietitians uh, needing to be trained, and of course this is if Dr. Noor also agrees on this, then we can uh, provide like an attachment for uh, dietitians from your center uh, in, our, uh, in our center. So if I finish the core learning, for example, within one month, I can start November Obesity Clinic. Um, so starting the obesity clinic, uh, if you have, if you had already an attachment with us, I think, if you had an attachment with us or did the diabetes fellowship before, uh, you can start your own obesity clinic. Uh, talking about talking to your employer about that you wanted to open an like uh, obesity clinic. So I don't know how it works exactly in terms of like if you are in a poly clinic, uh, if you are, for example, in health center, uh, and you want to do a separate clinic, maybe that will take like some some managerial uh, um, stuff like to do before uh, to open your own obesity clinic. 
but what, if you had already these experiences before, like diabetes fellowship, or you did uh, have an attachment with us at the National Diabetes Endocrine Center and you want to open a clinic, maybe start um, doing the process now. And once you finish your attachment, uh, that's and did or your scope modules and confident enough to clinic, then yes, go ahead. Um, so we did have some people actually who are joining us not from uh, the uh, not from the forty two candidates, uh, and uh, yes, we have definitely more than uh, like more candidates than we expected today. Um, but this talk is mainly aimed for the 42 candidates who are general practitioners, when I think internal medicine and family physicians. Yes, the other eight modules are free. Someone is asking if other than the core modules, which is paid for, uh, the uh, other eight modules are free and you can access them uh, through uh, the module. Any future plan to release national obesity guidelines for Oman, inshallah, this is in, in the plan, uh, of course, uh, to uh, do national guidelines as well. So uh, someone is asking if the, uh, if the modules uh, are only read lectures or answer some questions. So they are uh, reading material, uh, some videos as well in, uh, on these lectures. And yes, by the end, you have to finish a uh, quiz, uh, I think, for each uh, module. And then after that, you get a certification that you finished this module. Yeah. So, um, Uh, there is a question about how many patients uh, need to be treated uh, by candidates in six months in order to get certification. So uh, SCOPE did not specify the number of patients. Um, uh, only they specified the period. So you only need six um, months of experience in obesity clinic, regardless to the number of patients you are seeing to be SCOPE certified. I think I lost track of time, uh, but let me check. I think if there is any more questions, um, we can try to answer them tomorrow. Uh, let me, uh, sorry, you can tr try to answer them in our WhatsApp group. And for those who are not, um, for those who are not uh, from the 42 candidates and joined us today, thank you for joining us, but uh, join us tomorrow because the workshops uh, will start and the webinar sessions will start tomorrow. Um, uh, But okay, so I think uh, there's one more question, but uh, my connection is unstable. Okay. Okay, there's one more question. I will answer this before we leave. What will be the future channel of communication between us as a program graduates and course organizers? We'll always be around. Uh, there are different means of uh, like communicating with us, whether it's by email or um, uh, by phone or the WhatsApp group that we have created. So we will always be in touch if there's any, if there's any questions or difficulties uh, you face, uh, we will be around. Okay, so I think, uh, okay, I think that's it for today for the questions and uh, join us tomorrow uh, for start of the workshop. And uh, the first session will be uh, by me and it is about obese evaluation of obesity. Uh, so it will be a basic topic for about 30 minutes. And then we will talk about the updates from the new Canadian guidelines uh, by international speaker. Okay, thank you everyone for joining us.